Some visual impairments prevent people from seeing or distinguishing colors. To ensure accessibility, documents that use colors to communicate information should provide a redundant way to receive this information that doesn't rely on color. Let's take a look at an example. Here we see a chart that uses color to convey meaning. The colors shown in the legend match up sections of the pie chart with industries that employ people with disabilities. As such, the legend is not accessible to users who are unable to see or distinguish colors. Let's fix this by adding redundant data labels to the chart itself. We click on the chart and then on the plus icon for chart elements. In the chart elements menu, we'll put a check in the box next to data labels by clicking it. The labels aren't showing the data we need, so let's click the right arrow next to data labels. In this menu, we choose more options and give it a click. In the format data labels pane, we'll set the options we need. First, we'll change the label position by clicking the radio button next to outside end. Now, we click the box next to category name to show the legend text next to the pie sections. We'll also click the box next to value to uncheck it. This hides the actual percentage values, which are not needed because we're only trying to communicate the general impact of these industries. Finally, let's right click on one of the data labels and hover the mouse over Change Data Label Shapes. From the Data Label Shapes menu, we'll click on Rectangle. Now the sections of the pie chart each have a corresponding text label. The small change adds redundancy for the information that is otherwise communicated only through color. Let's take a look at another example. If we scroll down in the exercise document, we can see that there's a table showing some accessible and inaccessible document design approaches. Icons in the accessible column use color to indicate whether a design approach is good or bad for accessibility. To make this accessible to users who have trouble seeing color, we need to provide this information in a redundant way. We'll use the icons under the table for this purpose. Let's click on the icon with the check mark and press Ctrl X on the keyboard to cut it. Now we click on the first green icon in the accessible column and press Ctrl V to paste and replace the icon image. We'll do the same for the second green icon by clicking and pressing Ctrl V on the keyboard. Let's repeat this process for the X icons. We click on the X icon under the table and press Ctrl X to cut it. Then we click on the first red icon in the accessible column and Ctrl V to paste. Finally, we click on the last red icon in the table and Ctrl V again. The information in the table is now conveyed through color and the icon marks. If color were removed from this document, we could still tell which document design approaches were good for accessibility and not. Using redundancy when communicating information through color is a good way to ensure the content stays accessible.